welcome to superior profit monday morning meeting Fourth February 2019. I am Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. You may visit our website superiorprofit.co to know more about me, the company and the trading products that we offer. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. Thank you. I started sharing the screen now. Thank you. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. This session is for live demonstration of different aspects of Q systems and techniques. It's different from the weekly market roundup where we carry out top-down analysis of market sector industry fundamental and technical here we may carry out top-down analysis but we may also use bottom-up or inside based analysis that was the last slide of the presentation let's move to the live system We will look at the global markets as usual. Then we will look at some ways of finding stocks using Q systems, sonar scans. We will see how to find out stocks, trading opportunities that are displaying U-turn in pressure, suddenly going up and then suddenly going down with force or vice versa. That is using the new pressure and U-turn indicators that we are going to release soon, hopefully by this week. Then we will look at stocks that are in a squeeze. They also give very nice trading opportunities when they come out of squeeze. We look at certain stocks that are giving possible trading signals now. We will look at stocks in a squeeze and also stocks that are displaying squeeze release, coming out of a squeeze, probably starting a new directional move. Sometimes the squeeze may happen along with breaking of support or resistance memory. We look at certain stocks that are breaking below support or breaking above memory coming out of squeeze and we'll see how to find such stocks both using Q Global and Q Elite. Q Global is based on Metastock and Q Elite is based on TradeStation. Let's start with the global markets first. We start with the Australian market. This is AXJO. As you know, we have this headwind signal which tells that there is a possibility of market reversal. We can see that AXJO reversed from the bearish headwind at the very top, had a sharp drop. At the very bottom, it displayed the bullish headwind signal in the weekly chart and since then it is going up. This is today's candle. The week is not complete. We are seeing sideways move in the AXJO for the fourth week now. 
in the daily chart price recover now it is near a memory resistance line also near the watermark resistance price is moving sideways if it breaks out of the memory resistance and gives us a low risk entry point with a higher low that will be a very nice buying setup alternatively if the price starts to go down then we may have shorting opportunity until one of those things happen it may be safer to stay away from the australian market Hong Kong market, it recovered in the weekly chart right from the memory support line. For sixth week in a row, it is going up. This is the candle from the last week. In the daily chart, it had a sharp reversal. It displayed a bearish headwind signal one day ago. However, there was no bearish headwind trade setup because the weekly is still bullish how to use the bearish headwind signal then if there is no trade setup we will apply trailing stop in any existing long position that we may be having price is above the upper boundary line and the stretch signal in the band of indicators it is showing that price is overbought. It has been overbought for several days now. It is too late to enter any swing long trade. China market CSI index. This is also going up in the weekly chart as well as in the daily chart. Price is above upper boundary in the daily chart. It is overbought also, though not for as many days as is HSI, the Hang Seng Index. Still it is overbought and we are not going to take any long trade right now. India market nifty 50 index earlier it used to be the strongest one among all the global markets that we study and now it is going sideways for many weeks now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 that is a large number of weeks for which the market has not moved on a closing basis it is not going up it is not falling down also we have support from the memory trend line every time price comes to that level it is recovering but it is not going up also in the daily chart it is bound by the resistance watermark levels and the support memory level unless it breaks out of the range it may not be possible to take any trend following long trade however we may take box that is the sideways market trade if price comes to the range high then goes down or price comes to the range low and then goes up with the release signals UK market put say after the bullish headwind in the weekly chart price is gradually going up in the daily chart the highs are bound by resistance watermark levels here here 
here. This watermark is broken now. Price is overbought. So we will not try to take any long trade right now. If price comes down to the memory support and reverses from there, that may give us a low risk entry opportunity. It seems that if price comes to the memory support, it will reverse again because the weekly color has turned bullish. Alternatively, if price comes up, if price goes up, pulls back, gives a higher low, that will give a trend following going flow long trade setup. Right now, there is no Q trade setup in FTSE. That was a study of the global markets. We look at the USA futures near the end of our session today. Let's now look at some of the stocks that are showing extreme pressure U-turn. I found two such stocks. One is LQD, which is also displaying an island reversal and KKR. LQD is bearish and KKR is bullish. Let's look at both of them. And for that, I will switch to trade station. I could use Metastock also. LQD. By the way, this is the new release of TradeStation. They are releasing the latest update to all the people. And I got the latest update. It is a significant improvement from the earlier version, especially for resizing the windows, as we can see. LQD, it displayed a bullish headwind in the weekly chart at the very bottom. Then it is going up for many weeks. At the right edge, it has hit the watermark resistance in the weekly as well as in the daily. Last Friday, it displayed a bear release signal. It had heavy activity on the way up in the recent days that might signal potential exhaustion of bears. Potential exhaustion of bulls, not bears. And we can see there was a gap up day. One day prior to that we had very high activity. The up move continued with a gap up day and then very next day it fell down with a bear release signal. Price was overbought for many days. Then we had the bear release signal. It was stretched, as we say. Then the stretch release came. One day ago, it had a bullish extreme pressure when price went up strongly with high activity. And the very next day, it had a significant reversal in price along with high activity again that was plotted as extreme pressure bearish. Extreme pressure bullish followed by extreme pressure bearish that was marked as a U-turn in pressure. In the daily chart, it is creating something like an island reversal where the top candle is isolated from the candle before that, which is below, and the candle after that, which is also below. This may give to a drop. This may give rise to a drop in the stock. 
if you have a long position, you may be careful and you may look for shorting opportunity. That was LQD. And the other stock that is displaying, one of the other stocks that is displaying extreme pressure reversal U-turn is KKR. And here we may have a bullish setup. In the weekly chart, it displayed the bearish headwind and from there price dropped heavily. There was a watermark support level. Price tried to go below that, but reversed. Went back above the watermark support. This was watermark support thereby creating a false downside breakout. We had a bull release signal in the weekly chart here. And from there price went up for four weeks. In the daily chart, price recovered from the low. In this candle, we had a cyan colored candle. Before that price went up, pulled back, went up again giving a cyan colored candle. In the daily chart, that was the signal for a trend following long trade setup, go with flow setup on this candle. You could take the long at the close of this bar, putting stop just below recent low. Then as the stock went up, you could book at least partial profit. On last Friday, it broke above the memory resistance trend line, also the watermark resistance, the pivot resistance. It broke above those resistances with high activity. Therefore, we had another long opportunity. It was a breakout long opportunity, the breakout from memory and watermark resistance with heavy activity. And it was also a go with flow trend following long opportunity. Usually, if a stock is in an uptrend for a while, we avoid taking a go with flow long setup when price is near the upper boundary. But we have an exception when the stock was in a downtrend and now reversing, then it is expected that when it is reversing, we'll have some trend following long setups at or near or even above the upper boundary level as was the case here. So it is okay to take a long trade in KKR as a go with flow trend following long trade setup on Friday, putting stop just below recent low. You could put the stop below the yellow direction line. Now price has gone up above all the four direction lines, the white, yellow, cyan, and magenta. So all the traders, be it very long term, long term, or short term, are bullish, especially those who are using the moving averages to enter trades. So this may be a safe, low risk, long entry opportunity in KKR. Let me open the Q vital, we can check out the fundamental strength of KKR. Let me check the exact symbol. Reuters symbol, it is KKR. In Q vital, we can type the symbol as the root stock. Currently streaming is off, I can click the play button. It is connected to Thomson Reuters. It is going and retrieving some basic information about the root stock. It has retrieved that. 
second step it is retrieving the peer stocks and third step it is retrieving detail about the 11 stocks and calculating vital statistics which is completed now let's look at the data kkr valuation is in the middle valuation score is in yellow color that shows the valuation is in the middle not good valuation not overvalued also in terms of earnings growth we look at the recent quarters it is green though in the latest quarter it is lower than the previous quarter still it is green yearly earnings growth is still negative that is fine the stock was at a low price point now it is turning up for swing trading we are keen to look at the recent quarters more we can look at the recent year also if we combine the earnings growth and the valuation we conclude in terms of fundamentals kkr is in the middle maybe slightly to the lower side it is not fundamentally strong relative to other stocks for example ivz 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 psec and arcc these three are in the same asset management industry and they have optimal valuation and ntras has very nice earnings growth kkr's next earning is in april end of april so earnings is already out that uncertainty is over technically it is looking good you may consider buying the stock if it was overvalued the valuation was in magenta color we would not like to buy that especially if it was overvalued and the earnings growth was going down we may look at some of the value stocks in this industry before that let me check the industry strength asset management let's go to q edge for that we can search for asset management the industry is weak if we expand the recent days we can see it is improving in score turning cyan little bit and if we expand the acceleration columns we see it is showing acceleration over two days so industry is not strong but it is showing some acceleration it's not enough usually for us to take a trade in this industry because it is turning around we would prefer to have either one day acceleration or five days acceleration so it is not the best 360 degrees opportunity we call an opportunity 360 degrees opportunity if the industry is strong fundamental is strong and technically we have a buy point here industry is not strong it's more magenta than cyan and fundamentally it is middle to weak so it is not a 360 degree straight it has a technical trade setup what about lqt lqt was actually bond it is iShares investment grade corporate bond etf so we will not look at the stocks fundamentals this instruments fundamentals it's a bond instrument let's continue with our topics we found two stocks that are displaying u-turn pressure one of them kkr has a technical trade setup long direction and lqd may be giving us a short trade setup with an island reversal now let's look at stocks in a squeeze squeeze means a stock was very volatile and then the volatility went away and the stock started to move in narrow range if the narrow range move happens over a number of days not one day two days but maybe more number of days then when the stock eventually breaks out of the squeeze the narrow range the move may be significant that is the rationale behind taking stocks that are in a squeeze and 
then coming out of a squeeze. And in queue systems, we can easily find those trends. We have two stocks, many stocks actually that we could find. And I looked at several of them. Let's look at these two that I mentioned, MRO and BR. Let me use Metastock, Q Global, MRO, Marathon Oil. Here the stock recovered for three weeks and since then for one, two, three, four weeks, it is moving sideways in the weekly chart. That move is shown in the daily chart also. It is moving in a very narrow range. The squeeze is displayed in this band. The band itself is squeezed between the other bands. The bottom band is movement and then we have the squeeze band. The squeeze started from this red dot. Then it was going on for several days and on last Friday, it displayed a green dot. It has not broken out of the narrow range yet, but it is showing mathematically it is having a squeeze release. That's why it was picked up by the scan also. From the chart, we can see it is still inside a narrow range. We will wait for it to break out. We don't know the direction when the stock is in a squeeze. Once it breaks out, if it opens close to the range, for example, if it opens at this price range, then we will switch to intraday entry chart, fine tune chart and look for a buying opportunity in the long direction. If it opens below the range, around this price level, then we'll use the intraday entry chart, look for a shorting opportunity. Let's look at the chart with the volatility template. I have set up everything on the menu bar in Metastock. And here we can clearly see the squeeze taking place. Beautiful, isn't it? In Q systems, we like to decide trades visually not looking at complicated indicators, zigzag lines, convergence, divergence, but the plots are designed to be intuitive and we can instantly see what is going on. How could we find these stocks like MRO? In Q Global, we have the set of explorers, 49, explorers or sonar scans as we call them are there in Metastock and we added a few that will be released soon. They are related to squeeze. We have squeeze release. If we run this on the US stocks, then we will find MRO. There may be another one coming also that is going to show us the stocks that are in a squeeze. Yes, it is there. I added it to the favorites. We have a scan for squeeze and we have a scan for squeeze release. Sometimes we look for stocks that are coming out of squeeze. They may give explosive moves and sometimes we can start looking for the opportunities even before the release has happened while the stock is still in a squeeze. And get ready for the possible breakout. We have the scans in Q Global and if we go to Q Elite, we have the scans in Q Elite as well. We have the one for squeeze and one for squeeze release. In Q Elite, we also have the sonar dashboard and we have added the squeeze column. If I look for MRO, 
it is showing that it is going out of the squeeze. That's why the squeeze column is green. So we have very easy ways now, both in Q Elite as well as Q Global, to find stocks that are in a squeeze and also stocks that are coming out of squeeze. The other stock in a squeeze is BR, and let me use stress station for that. BR. In the daily chart, price is gradually going up. In the weekly chart, price is gradually going up. In the daily chart, it was in a squeeze. The squeeze started from here. The band that is squeezed above the movement band. And then it is switching between yellow, red, yellow, red. We can see on Friday it turned green. So it came out of the squeeze. And in this case, BR, it has broken above the range also. Broken, broken above the watermark resistance. It is now above the yellow direction line, price is supported by memory support. You could consider it for a long opportunity. A squeeze release long opportunity that is accompanied with heavy activity breakout as, as well. BR, we could check its fundamentals also. Let's have a look at that. The moment we type the symbol, Vital goes to work. It found out the detail of the stock, finding the peer stocks, 15 stocks. Now, finding the data and calculating Vital statistics is done quite far. BR. Valuation is in the middle. It has very nice earnings growth. Accelerating earnings growth going up from about 9% to more than 46%. Here, over here, quarterly earnings growth. So fundamentally, we'll say this stock is strong. A stock can be strong fundamentally, either based on valuation or based on earnings growth, sometimes both. In this case, BR is strong in terms of earnings growth, medium in terms of valuation. Overall, we'll say it is strong fundamentally. It is in data processing, Industry, how is the industry? Here the industry is strong. Therefore, we have now an opportunity, a squeeze release plus breakout opportunity in BR, that is a Q360 degrees opportunity where the industry is strong, fundamentally strong, and technically we have a low risk buy point. And we could find that easily, not having to go through all the stocks one by one, but by running Q Sonar either on Q Elite or Q Global. Now these three stocks, MS, CPRT, and FMC, are also displaying squeeze release and a possible start of a directional move. Let's have a look at these stocks. MS, CPRT, and FMC. We are using Q Elite on Trade Station. In the weekly chart, price went up. This was the earnings week. Since then, it is moving sideways in the weekly as well as in the daily chart. And on Friday, it displayed the squeeze release, the green cross. The squeeze had started from here. 
it is looking bearish in the daily chart coming out of squeeze therefore you may be careful if you are having a long position you may look for shorting opportunity instead incidentally it went up very nicely after the bullish headwind at the very bottom how does the squeeze look in the q elite platform let's look at the volatility chart on q elite here the squeeze is displayed on the volatility band itself the squeeze started from here when the red dot on the upper band and red dot on the lower band started appearing since then it is in a squeeze sometimes the color may change to yellow that is neutral color there is no squeeze but no squeeze release also and on friday it displayed a green dot signaling possible breakout from the squeeze you may be careful if you are holding a long position in this stock then cprt and fmc let's look at the volatility chart first in a very nice squeeze isn't it the squeeze started from here in fact squeeze started from here long ago since then color is never green it was switching between red and yellow while the price was moving in a very narrow range we have a squeeze release on friday how does it look on the at a glance weekly daily template looks nice in the weekly after displaying the bullish headwind it is going up incidentally after the bearish headwind it came down sharply in the daily it was in the squeeze here and on friday it broke out of the resistance memory it also closed above the white direction line yellow direction was already below so we have a stock that is in an uptrend now above all the direction lines the weekly is also bullish both in color and shape and it went above this watermark also with a squeeze release the squeeze had started from here we can see all those information from the charts we could identify it using q scan or q sonar dashboard using radar and look for buying opportunity last stock that is going out of squeeze that was in our list is fmc isn't it this had a significant breakout sometimes it is better to catch the stock before it had a breakout like some of the other stocks and this stock has already broken out it had a squeeze starting from this bar and on friday we had the first green color in the squeeze span showing that we had a squeeze release the stock came out of squeeze also went above the white direction and yellow direction line both it broke out of the memory trend line resistance in daily and also the memory trend line resistance weekly because it has broken out with a gap up move you may not chase the stock now if it pulls back little bit ideally to the white direction line here or the memory trend line support and goes up again that will give us a beautiful go with flow trend following long trade setup alternatively if the stock moves sideways for a while then you may consider taking a long trade when it is breaking out of the high of this gap up candle 
let's look at the volatility chart for this stock. It was in a squeeze starting from here. Volatility started to reduce. It was moving sideways for a while. Then the green dot came on Friday and it broke out of the volatility squeeze. Very visual. How is the fundamental of this stock, FMC? Let me ensure the Reuters symbol, FMC. Yes, there is no dot O or dot K. It is FMC. Let's look at the fundamental. fertilizers and agricultural chemicals industry. FMC valuation is medium. Earnings growth is very nice. Green, bright green for all the three quarters. Though it reduced from the previous quarter, still it has significant earnings growth in all the three quarters. What about the industry, fertilizers industry? We use QH for checking that. Very nice industry. So we have another possible 360 degrees trade in FMC. The industry is very strong, no doubt about that. Instantly, we know that from the cyan colors. Fundamentally, the stock has very good growth, medium valuation. By the way, earnings is due on 11th Feb, not very far away. But it already broke out of the squeeze. Sometimes you are able to buy a stock before earnings, maybe four or five days before earnings, take a swing trade, have some profit just before earnings, then you can close out the position and open close out the position that you might have taken using stock and use part of the profit to open a trade using options. How much will you risk? You will risk only part of the profit that you got from the stock trade. And therefore, if the stock moves in your direction, you will have more profit if it moves against you between the two trades, you will still have a profit. Just before earnings, buying put or buying call is not advisable. You may take such a trade. In this case, it is a bullish setup in FMC. You could take a trade using short put vertical. Now let's look at another stock, GS. By the way, MS, Morgan Stanley and GS, Goldman Sachs are in the same industry. And both of them were in a squeeze. Morgan Stanley is looking bearish and so is Goldman Sachs. And in case of GS, we have a stock that is coming out of squeeze and breaking below memory support. Yes. They are involved in a scandal related to the Malaysian development, billion dollar scandal that may affect their performance. At least it's affecting their reputation, certainly. It went up strongly during earnings. This was earnings week. And then for Two weeks, it didn't move. From the weekly chart, you can see it is hanging after a sharp move up. In the daily chart, it was in a squeeze, in a sideways move. It is still in a squeeze. It hasn't come out of the squeeze. The squeeze band hasn't displayed any green cross yet. We see the relative performance is tilting down in daily as well as in weekly. 
and it is breaking below the memory support in daily. MS was also looking like about to fall and GS is looking the same way. Therefore, if you have a long position, you may be careful. You may look for a shorting opportunity in GS and MS both. Let's see how it looks like in the volatility chart. GS had very high volatility. The band was expanded and now it is starting to contract. The squeeze dots are coming. How does it look on Q Global? GS. Here we can see in the squeeze band, the volatility is compressing. This is one case and we found several other stocks that are still in a squeeze or just coming out of squeeze, they haven't make, made a very large move yet. And those are the optimal low risk positions to initiate a trade, directional trade. They may end up being highly profitable. Let's now use Q Global to actually run the sonar. Let's run it on stocks that are breaking up or down with a squeeze release. In Q Global, we can, let me close all the charts. In Q Global, we can choose multiple sonars. So I'm choosing squeeze release and let me choose breakout. Let me choose short direction breakout first. And I am running it on the S&P 600 stocks. Choosing the option, use the results from the previous exploration. And I am going to order them. I am going to run the scan for squeeze release first. And on the output, I am going to run short breakout opportunities. Running it on the daily interval. If I start the exploration, it will run the sonars one by one. No data is stored in my computer. It is going to the exchange through Thomson Reuters, retrieving data and calculating. The first sonar is running now. You can see the number of stocks being rejected and the progress bar is displayed here. The first sonar found 21 stocks and the second sonar three. Let's look at all of them one by one. Very nice chart, isn't it? Immediately we can see In the weekly, it is in a downtrend, overall downtrend. That is also shown by the top band. The top band is the swing high-low based direction. So it was in an uptrend for a long time in the weekly chart, became neutral, and then it is in a downtrend in the weekly chart. In the daily chart, it became strong and now becoming neutral again in terms of directional band. It was in a squeeze starting from here. Then it never became green, only on Friday it became green. That is the squeeze release came and it broke out of the triangle pattern, broke to the downside below memory support and we have a magenta color candle. We had a magenta color candle two days ago. However, we wouldn't look for a shorting opportunity that time because price was just above the trend line support. Whereas on Friday, it broke decisively below that. 
with high activity above average activity we know that from the thickness of the line it is a thick activity bar meaning it is high activity if we had a green dot we know it is very high and if we had a cyan dot we know it was extremely high on friday we had very high activity breakout from memory support and also breakout from squeeze release from squeeze let's look at the volatility chart it looks nice doesn't it <laughs> we always try to make the charts visually appealing and it has a very nice squeeze and the green bar at the end shows it came out of the squeeze by the way in the volatility chart the volatility template that we have the candle color shows the volatility in every template the color may represent different thing here we see the candle color plotted based on volatility so we had very high volatility here in q systems high or good in terms of volatility here is cyan high is always cyan then green then comes yellow then comes red and extreme low is magenta so looking at the chart we know where volatility high where volatility is low so if here volatility is high we are going to avoid taking put and call options instead we may look for vertical trades or iron condor trades now volatility is neutral you could trade it using put option as well that was one of the three stocks that we found let me open the next stock this has a huge move already it was in a squeeze for a long time let's look at the volatility chart it was in a squeeze and on friday it had a big move to the downside that is what i was mentioning sometimes often you can say it is better to catch the catch the volatility squeeze release before the big move in this case it has made a big move to the downside we saw another stock fmc that made a big move to the upside and then we saw goldman sachs we saw morgan stanley we saw br which are about to make such big moves those were the right times to take low risk trades this one has already made a big move we are not going to chase it the last stock was mygn this looks nice this hasn't made the big move yet it is coming out of a squeeze also breaking below memory trend line support it has given us a bearish flow color candle in the weekly it is breaking below support as well next memory support in weekly is far away if we took a short trade on friday our stop would be narrow that is the common theme in all our trade setups we have four q trade setups one for each of the four market conditions all of them give us low risk trade setups how does it look on the volatility chart it was and it is still in a very narrow range move we can see the squeeze started from here expanded little bit then squeezed again though it alternated between red green and yellow colors now it is breaking out below the memory support how to find stocks that are in squeeze squeeze or showing squeeze release in q elite i already described that i will spend more time on that next 
quick. Let me look at the market futures. E mini. Hasn't moved much. This is today's candle overnight market. E mini SP 500 displayed a bearish headwind in the daily chart on Friday. Friday's candle was indecisive. So you may be careful if you are having a long position. Also, weekly is in a downtrend. We know that from this swing band being red and it is at the memory resistance. There is a chance it will drop from there. We will not take a short trade unless we have a valid Q trade setup, but long position holders may be cautious. NQ NASDAQ futures. Here we have price coming to the memory resistance in daily. Last week it closed below that. This week still overnight market is not going up above the memory resistance. So reason is there for NQ also to be careful. It is right at memory resistance. ES was also near memory resistance in the weekly chart. And ES had very shadowy. YM Dow futures. This doesn't have any memory resistance. It already cleared the weekly memory resistance. So this is stronger than the other two, ES and NQ. It is stronger. It is near the upper boundary line. So we are not going to take any long position right now. The last one is the Russell futures, RTY. near memory resistance. It cleared the memory resistance last week, but last Friday's candle, that was the candle which cleared the daily memory resistance, that was Doji candle, indecisive. We cannot rely much on that breakout. So we saw three of the four futures are near memory resistance or below memory resistance, either in weekly and daily, that is, good enough reason to be careful with long trades. There is no short setup yet. That is at the market level as we saw using squeeze, squeeze release or using U-turn or indeed using the other trade setups. You can always find opportunities in the stocks even if there is no trade opportunity in the market futures or ETFs. We are past our one hour time for the session. We'll continue again next week. Thank you for joining. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.